Good evening, everyone. New NMU men's basketball coach Bill Saul had his Wildcats at the Berry Event Center tonight, taking on Southwest Minnesota State. An interesting matchup for the Wildcats, and we pick it up in the first half. Terry Nash spins and uses the window nicely. Eight points for Nash. Mustangs, though, with a 10-8 lead. Next, it's Venard Birch, William Giddings, the drive, and the nice dish to Mitch Wegg. And the Mustangs' lead is 7 at 15-8. NMU responds, Chavis Madison with the left-handed shot from the lane, very nicely done, but that would cause a timeout by the Mustangs, and that gave NMU's head coach Bill Saul a chance to do some X's and O's with his new players. Next, Justin Newell banks that one in. He had 12 points in the first half, ended up with 15. It was 19-12 halfway through the first half. The NMU volleyball team taking in the game, getting ready to go to the GLIAC semifinals tomorrow and this weekend. Nice scoop and score by Ethan Blackwell. He had seven. NMU was within four at 22-18, but Joey Bartlett scores a pair here on the inside. 24-18 Mustangs. They led by five at the half, and Southwest Minnesota State went on to win by the count of 68-55. The Mustangs visit Michigan Tech tomorrow night. To volleyball we go, where the Forest Park Trojans were in the Class D semifinals today down at Kellogg Arena in Battle Creek. Kim Bjork's team taking on a very good squad once again in Battle Creek St. Philip, also known as the Fighting Tigers, also known as the seven-time defending champions. Lexi Gussert will get things going for Forest Park by putting that one down with authority. But St. Philip already had a 3-1 lead, and when you see the score next, it's really not that pretty. It's 16-2 at that point. Gussert with another kill here, and she ended up with 16. But the Fighting Tigers were getting points at a rapid rate in the first set. Stephanie Chimmel will... Bounced that one over, and that made it a 15-point lead. Then Forest Park settled down, started playing a little bit better. Hannah Marinoff with the ace, and they would string a few points together. And Maria Stankowitz will set up Kendra Campbell here for the kill off the block. But it was St. Philip winning the first set 25-15. Sierra Hubbard-Neal will get the big kill coming up here for the Fighting Tigers. Forest Park played well in the second set, had a four-point lead, but could not hold on. And Forest Park season came to an end, three sets to none, 25-22 and 25-17 the other sets. Battle Creek St. Philip meets Waterford, Our Lady of the Lakes, in the final Saturday morning. Trojans end the year 32-2-5. The NMU hockey team returns home for the first time in November this weekend. The Wildcats host Alabama Huntsville. Let's hear what one of the NMU freshmen have to say about starting as a Wildcat. Oh, I've been with a few different lines right now. I went up forward and back to D, and uh, you know everybody's helping out in every situation. Playing forward, guys are letting me know where to play. Going back on D, guys are just helping me out, so it's awesome. You know, they take a, a overtime or, or a late goal by St. Cloud wins on Saturday night. St. Cloud's number two in the nation, so Friday night's a ten to one game. So they're they're a quality team. We're watching them. They're they're systematic in what they do. Um, so what what we're concerned about is not not our opponent this weekend, but in a, in our quality of playing. Face off tomorrow and Saturday at the Barry Event Center is 7.07 p.m. Available on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Wisconsin boys basketball season started already. Ooh. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Niagara over Florence, 54-38. Zach Walker at 24 for Niagara. Well, the seasons are all coming together. Yes. All right. Thanks a lot, Mike.